Hi, happy St. Patrick's Day. I thought it'd be fun to do a directed drawing while you're at home. Since it's St. Patrick's Day, I thought it would be fun to work on a leprechaun together. If you'd like to do this quick art project with me, all you will need is a piece of white paper, doesn't matter which kind, um, a pencil and an eraser if you want to start with that, or you can go straight to a black marker or a Sharpie if you want to start that way. Um, just like how we practice in class when we do our directed drawing, I'll go through it step by step with you, and then you'll have um, the option to color it in however you want, and you'll have your finished art piece to share with your family. So to start our leprechaun, we're going to start with the face. We're going to make kind of a U shape, but we're going to make it a lot wider than a U. We're going to start about in the middle of our paper, and we're going to extend the face up with some sides like that. Okay. Once you have that face, we are going to add the beard to it. To add the beard, we're going to start at the edge of the face, and we're going to do loops touching the edge of the face all the way around. Once you have that part, we are going to add the hat. The hat is going to close off the head, and it's going to go longer than the sides of the face almost touching the edge of your paper, but not quite. There'll be a straight line all the way across, and if you need to adjust your beard and face, you can. And then we are going to add the top part to our hat by making um, a rectangle with only three sides, because we already have the bottom line. And if you want to add a buckle, the buckle can go in the middle of the hat. It will be a square with a smaller square inside like that. From here, we're going to work on the leprechaun's face. We're going to start with the eyes. We'll add two circles. And you can add the inside of the eye, the pupil, however you want. You can make it a dot. I'm going to do a diagonal line, but make it how you like it. And you can fill in the pupils however you want. If you want to add eyelashes, you can. Um, make it your own. Make it special. Okay, from here we're going to add the nose and the mouth. The nose, again, can be whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to do a little triangle kind of um, pointed nose like that. And then I'm going to add the smile by doing two circles and connecting it with a smile. Makes the leprechaun look happy on St. Patrick's Day. From here, the body is really easy. We're going to start at the bottom of the beard just kind of round out until we hit the bottom of our page. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You can decide how big or small you want your leprechaun's body to be. If you don't have a lot of space, you can make his body smaller. If you've got a lot of white space, you can fill it up. Uh, I'm going to add some buttons. You can make your buttons any shape you want. You can add as many buttons as you want. I'll add two circles. And then for the leprechaun's arms, I'm going to draw a rectangle extending up out of the body, and I'll add another to the other side. And I'm going to draw the rest of the arm, a straight line. And then the hands are up to you. If you want to draw individual fingers um, and make them look like real hands, you can. I'm just going to kind of draw little lumpy circles, kind of make it cartoonish, your choice. Now that your leprechaun is done, you can add a background, and that's totally however you want to do it as an artist. I'm going to add a rainbow to the background, and you can follow along with me, or you can choose to do whatever you'd like. I'm going to do a diagonal rainbow, so I'm going to actually cut through the corner of my page. That will be my red section. I'm going to draw five lines. That will be orange. I'm going to bump and jump through the hat. That will be yellow. Bump and jump again, green, bump and jump blue, and bump and jump purple. At this point, the leprechaun is all finished, and you have total freedom to color it um, and make it your own leprechaun. This is how I colored my finished leprechaun. I hope you enjoy working on your directed drawing of your lep leprechaun on St. Patrick's Day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!